Alright, what's up guys? This is Ninja Deathstrike, bringing you the next episode of Pokemon Plus Nobunaga's Ambition. And um, you'll see I've changed my layout a little bit. The last time was really weird. Um, everything got scrunched into a weird dimension, so trying something new. I'm actually recording it in high def, which means it's going to take forever, but uh, hopefully it'll work. It's also making my computer lag like heck, but uh, hopefully... <coughs> It won't be too much of an issue here. So, anyhow, last time we took over the fire castle, and now we are going to pick up our first um, team member. New team member, that is. You'll see here, this little logo, it doesn't have the Pokemon sign, it's a little person's head, and that means that there is actually a trainer here that you can convince to join you. So, we're going to head into this cave and try to pick up Charmander Guy. So, uh, yep, alright, it actually started us in decent position here. Um, now the key to picking up new trainers is you have to either take them out within the first four turns of battle, or uh, take them out without them being able to damage any of your guys. So if you can do either of those things, there's a chance you can, they will join you. And obviously, if you can do both of those things, uh, there's a really good chance they'll join you. So. Also, we have unlocked our general powers down here. Each uh, commander has their own special ability they can use once per battle. And Pants is has the ability full speed, gives Eevee some added movement. So we're going to go ahead and use that to uh, bring the fight right to this Charmander. There we go. Nice. 17. That was a good hit. And then we'll just have Jigglypuff hang out and uh, pick up this item. And there we go. Charmander is also our first ranged unit. And um, I've never actually used him through the game to get him to Charizard, so that's something I think I'm going to do this time. I'd like to see what Charizard's capable of. Most of the stage 2's here, unlike in uh, TCGO where they generally suck, are really really good and um, we want we want them so after the battle you'll see that little screen I should have kept it up longer you'll see that little screen if the trainers picture is not grayed out that means that they are willing to join you and it looks like we got a uh, Tokatoru so let's take a look at him real quick alright so his affinity is flying and fire which is great that's what Charmander is gonna be so means he'll have a really good link. Uh, you can see off the bat Charmander is 62%. That's okay, but it'll go up as he evolves. And uh, we definitely want to keep this guy. Also, you'll notice there's a lot more English than there was last time. That's because the uh, patch team has released the 1.4 patch. So all of the items and trainer abilities have been added in English, which is great. It means you guys will have even more uh, help understanding what's going on. They've also changed what's her faces name to Olivia, which is cool. I forget what it was before. These guys are all still the same, but they just kind of disappear in a couple of uh, turns anyhow, so we won't worry too much about them. My audio is spiking really high. One sec. Okay, hopefully that'll be better. And I hope you can hear the music. I turned it down a little bit, but hopefully it's still audible because I really enjoy the music in this game. I I think it's really great. So there we go, we picked up our first team member, and now uh, normally before you storm another castle you want to grind up anyone you've picked up, and uh, we definitely want to do that this time. So let's see what we've got. Uh, just looks like wild trainers, which um, is kind of unfortunate. We really want to pick up some more trainers if we can, but for now. We'll just have to get by beating up some Zubat and Tepig. Um, I'm not going to show the grinding after this episode, just because it's kind of boring. But I would leave it in here since there's still stuff to explain, and then I'll take it out next time. Uh, because of that, episodes will probably be a little bit shorter than they were for the Nuzlocke, just because uh, really the only thing there is to do is move the troops around and then... Um, take on the... wow. Let's take out Tepig first though, he's a bigger problem. Uh, 
move the guys around and then attack the castles. So each episode I will attempt to take over a new castle. And um, that should put us between 15 and 20 minutes per episode. So a little bit shorter, but still sizable enough, hopefully. And uh, we're going to see if we can get Eevee a, a double kill this go-around. I actually recorded this whole episode once before, but the recording got corrupted because I was trying to figure out a new way to get the format to look right. It ends up on uh, Xsplitter for whatever reason. Wow, Jigglypuff doing some work. Damn. Uh, turns out that... XSplitter, for whatever reason, the local recordings are not playable. Even on my media player, which plays pretty much everything. I couldn't find the codec that it puts them in, and I didn't want to pay to get the other one. So, uh, there we go. See, we got Charmander a level. Um, so I'm using XSplitter and Camtasia simultaneously. That's why there's so much lag. But it seems like it's doing okay. Hopefully today we'll get some trainers. I know... Okay, now we've got some trainers. So see here, we've got the trainer and the Pokemon. So we're going to go in and try to pick up at least one more team member. Ooh, wow, this looks like it might be kind of a tough fight. Got uh, four guys to face. So anyhow, if anyone knows how to get XSplitter's local recording to work... Please tell me. Otherwise, I'll just do this. It, it's working out all right. Um, okay. So Darmaka gets one, two, three, four, five. I'd rather just go up there and smack him in the face. Mm, uh, maybe I should play a little defensive. Let them come to me. Jigglypuff back here as well. Because there are a lot of them. Yes. Here come the Zubats. Ah, stupid flyers. Oh, well, that's not going to hurt too bad. Yeah, I can. I noticed the lag. It's really bothering me. I don't know if you guys can or not, though. All right, so let's go up here and attack. Fourteen. That is not a whole lot. Let's see. How much can Charmander do? Three. Not a whole lot either. Send three. Fourteen. Yeah, we're gonna need Jigglypuff. What? Oh, she's still not gonna be able to make it. Stupid Marshmallow. Alright, well, forget it. Just stay here and kill the Zubat. Or miss. Awesome. Jigglypuff is such a worthless piece of garbage. You're saddled with it the whole game, too. Oh, no. At least attack my sponge. Don't attack the, the people I care about. Uh, now Tepig is going to come back here too and try to pick us off. Oh, yes, a miss. Okay. Way to go, Eevee. Way to not suck like Jigglypuff. There we go. 92%. You can do it. One, two. Okay. Thanks for that, Jigglypuff. Would one more hit have been so much to ask? Oh well. At least we know we'll have Darmaka down next turn. Hopefully. And that means we can uh, hit Tepig too. This is, what is this, turn three already? So we gotta take him out next turn if we want to get these guys on our side. Ow. Uh, Turmoil. Turmoil is an ability where if they're next to you and they do damage, they do extra damage. Kind of like anti-leftovers. That's going to be a pain in the butt, too, because now we're going to get it again. Ow. Alright, but at least... Hey, humming! Okay, Zubat's asleep. Um, 
At least we can take out Darmaka this turn. Or we better, at least. How much is, ta is Quick Attack gonna do? 14, okay. Fingers crossed. No min damage. Oh, crit! Okay, that'll work. Nice. Now Eevee gets to move again. So let's use our general power. Run over here and uh, sideswipe Tepig. Motivated is such a good ability. Bam! Take that, Tepig. Three, four, one more. Oh, almost. Well, it's okay, because Tepig's locked in there. Since he has a ranged attack, he can't actually do anything this turn. <laughs> but I think it's been too many turns for him to... Uh... Oh, he's turning his defense on. For him to join us, unfortunately. So we might only get Darmaka. Which... It's too bad. Both of them would have been nice to have for the grass castle. Oh well. That's the only time I would use them though. Here we go. Motivated. Eevee's getting some work done. Take it, Zubat. Then we can hit you for eight. And we can finish off the sleeping one. Assuming Jigglypuff doesn't miss. Okay. Dead. Ow, critical hit. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up items with these two because I really want Charmander to get the kill. Get his experience turned up. Some money. And... dead. Gotcha. I've never used Crobat either, I bet he's pretty good. Uh, unlike <laughs> TCGO, Stage 2s in this tend to be overwhelmingly powerful. Almost all of them. They're also incredibly hard to get. Okay, we did get Darumaka, that's enough. Let's take a look. Uh, his link percentage, 68. That's pretty good. Yep. He can stay. Oops. Yes. Yes. And... Okay. So we've got about 15 minutes left. That should be plenty of time to hit up the grass castle. Into battle! Three, four, everyone's coming. Yes. Here we go. You're going down, Motonari. And eventually, sometimes you can even convince some of these other shoguns to join your cause after you take over their castles. Guess you can kind of make them your, uh, make them your vassals, which is nice because most of them start with their best match guy. So this is our first capture the flag mission. Um, in this one, the enemies don't matter. The only thing that matters is that you, uh, oh, a trap. Damn it. The only thing that matters is that you control all three flags at some point. If you do that, you win. Also, as you can see, there are booby traps. Uh, if you fall into a booby trap, you lose two turns. Because you can't take an action the turn you find it, and you're stuck there the next turn. So they're really inconvenient. And, uh, yeah, we found one already. There's little hedges too, the colored hedges are warp points. If you stand on them, 
they teleport you to another section of the map. So, we'll send Eevee over here to get this one. And send Darumaka to back him up. And have Jigglypuff capture the middle flag the next turn. And they always go for this one down here in the bottom left. Which is fine. Uh, once they capture the flag, they'll always leave someone on it. And that person will not move. So it's nice. It helps even the odds. <coughs> Looks like Swaddle this time is out of the fight. One sec. Okay. Hey, Charmander's out. So we want Eevee to get the flag, and we need to move Darumaka off so he doesn't re-teleport. Jigglypuff can pick this one up, and I'll actually send Charmander over here so that he can attack that Swaddle next turn. One sec, I need to blow my nose. Okay, back. So they just uh, did their moves, kind of got closer to us, which is fine because we were ready for them. So looks like they're actually going to make a push at this flag up here at the top, and that means we are going to take them out. They also sent yeah Pants Age over here. We're just going to block his path. How far can he go? One. Okay, so you can go up to there. So we move Darumaka here. And... Let's see, no one's coming for... Oh, Snivy's coming for Jigglypuff. So I'm actually just going to give them this flag for this turn, because I can get it back. And uh, send Eevee over here to back up Jigglypuff. So that should do it. So uh, let me know, let me guys know what you think about the backgrounds and if the screens are big enough size, all that stuff. Kind of borrowed from the way Spade has his setup. Because uh, like I said, the last one got squished really weird. So I think this looks a lot better. Hopefully it'll look okay on the YouTube channel because it's a full screen for me right now since I'm recording it. Um, if you're having a hard time seeing it, just watch it in full screen. Hey, humming, nice. Put Snivy to sleep. And that should make it better, because it looks actually really good on my screen over here. Anyhow, see? We gave up that flag to Swaddle, but it was a trap. Now he's dead. And we can just take it back. Come down here. Take on Snivy. Oh, we woke up. Sometimes if you hit them, they wake up. Just kind of inconvenient. Not always, though. It's really weird. And Jigglypuff is going to do nothing again. Lovely. Okay. Guess he's not liking his chances. Oh, critical hit! Man. Here comes Pants Age. Doing nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Ten turns remaining. Alright, we got plenty of time. So. Uh, 33, yes, that'll do. Oh, a trap! Damn it. Alright, well, I can't let him take this flag, so now I'm just gonna have to do this. Yeah, these pitfalls are super annoying. There's absolutely no way to tell where they are. And, uh, you lose two turns, which is really bad. This battle going a little bit slower than I had expected. Oh, Jigglypuff missed. Awesome. Ah. <sighs> Ok, 
Okay. Turning his defense up. Ow. Ten turns left. Nine, actually. We're losing a little bit of time here. Alright, come on, Jigglypuff. One, two, two. Ugh. Eevee, show her how it's done. Not min damage, come on. Yes, okay. That is enough, I will take it. Now I can actually use Motivated to get over to Swaddle a little quicker. And can't do anything there because I don't want to give up the flag, so we're stuck. At least I'll get Darmaka back next turn, and that'll be good. Ow. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice. So Waddle's even facing the wrong way. Oh, but I can only do 11 damage. That's irritating. Because he's going to heal most of that off. Um, you know what? Let's get Charmander over there, too. Because we can attack. I'm here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we only got five back still. Um, want this battle over with. Oh! He ate my potion! Crap, now he's at full health again. It would have been really nice if I had Tepig, too. Okay, so Jigglypuff. Attack. Ah! Freaking traps. Eight. He's going to heal most of that off. Ah. Alright, well at least you are dead. Yeah. Take it. Okay. Ow. Yeah, I need Charmander over there. ASAP. Okay. Come on, critical hit. No dice. Actually, you're not even gonna make it, so just pick that up. Okay, we've done what? Five whole damage to him? Awesome. Oh, critical hit. Great. Wow, this is just not my match. This battle should have been over like five turns ago. Hey, Jigglypuff's back. Okay, can we please end this here? Kill it. Stealth. Oh my god! Stealth is just... Oh, randomly your moves don't work. Ah. <laughs> uh. There are a lot of abilities like that in this game that are just, oh, this time your move doesn't do anything. Enjoy. And they will activate for the opponent at least three times as much as they activate for you. So that's fun. At least we've got him next turn. Almost definitely. Maybe. And he's gonna put his defense on. Shouldn't matter. Ow.
My first run, I beat this thing in like six turns. Alright, come on. Yes! Screw you! 56! Critical hit! Yes! Bada boy, Charmander. And. Oh, Eevee doesn't have an item anymore because its potion got eaten. Oh, just money. Done. Hey! Nice, Charmander, nice. Okay, at least we got some good leveling out of that. Oh, and three people want to join us. Everyone but the leader. He's going to hang his head in shame. Hey, pants. Gaining more power. So we'll take all three of these guys. They're probably not great, but at least they'll help for the water castle. Especially pants, uh, pants sage. And, um, now, since our castle is going to be full, we have to send them somewhere else. So, I'm going to put them over here. There we go. Yes, we took over a castle. Let's save the game. Alright, so, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Went a little longer than I expected, but, uh, still under 30, so we're fine. Let me know what you think of the new background. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And uh, I will have more coming your way shortly. Thanks, guys.